Hi, welcome to Dr. Wren's Anatomy and Physiology again. Um, I want to show you in this short video the anatomy of a real long bone. What we have here is a deer bone that I found out in the field and we brought it in here and used the hacksaw to open it up to do a little section of it. So for the external gross anatomy you can see that the ends are wider and there's a long shaft. So we have epiphysis, diaphysis, the shaft, and then another epiphysis at the end. Um, also on the outside, you can see a couple places. If you look closely where I cut it here, you can actually see a nutrient foramen going in there. That's that little dark spot. I hope the resolution's good enough. Um, you also see a light chip over here from when I was cutting the bone. That's a good nutrient foramen. And I think, I'm not positive, but I think these little tiny holes here in the epiphysis, those little tiny th holes there I think are also nutrient foramen. Looking at the section that was cut, you can see very well um, spongy bone. And remember that within the spongy bone is the red bone marrow. And notice that this is still kind of brownish, probably because the, the newly formed red blood cells that were in here when the deer died, some of their hemoglobin remained and gave it that little darkish color, kind of like blood when it dries after a long, long time. You can also see compact bone in the sides. And inside, you can see this medullary cavity. And remember, the medullary cavity is where we would find fat. So medullary cavity, spongy bone, compact bone, nutrient foramen, and um, you can't see articular cartilage on these surfaces. But these surfaces is where articular cartilage was when it was on the living deer. But of course, it has since decomposed. You can also see some of the neat features at this epiphysis of the bone. And again, articular cartilage would have been in these places, but it's, it's gone. So these are the major pieces of anatomy for the deer long bone that I can show you. Again, email or call me if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.